What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to use motion matching in Unreal Engine 5.4 preview. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is enable the motion matching plugins. So let's go up into edit, plugins, and the first one is going to be motion trajectory. Let's go ahead and click enable, and a warning will pop up saying that it is in experimental. We're going to say yes, and now we need another one which is going to be the post search so let's go ahead and enable this too with those two enabled we can now go ahead and restart to apply this plugins to the editor okay so now the plugins are enabled as i have restarted the editor so before it's starting to set up motion matching in this sprite what i want to do is import more animations because right now for our third person template what i have is this limited run forward and this idle animation and also this walk, right? Which is basically very limited for a motion matching. We want to go ahead and move left, right, forwards, backwards, and also a jog start and a jog stop. So for this, you're gonna be taking advantage of Lyra. If you don't know Lyra, Lyra is a demo project that it begins launched a bit more than a year ago, which basically includes a shooter template. And it comes with this really cool jog animations for our locomotion, which we will uh, basically use. Now, it is free, and I will link it in the description from the marketplace. So just go ahead and create a Lyra project in 5.3. Now, once we have it opened in 5.3, what we're going to do is basically go into the characters folder, go into heroes, go into mannequin, go into animations, and then locomotion, and then unarmed. And here we have all of our animations that we will basically be using. So let's go ahead and filter by animation sequence, right? So we only see the animation clips itself. Now let's go ahead and select all of them, right click, go to S actions and click on migrate. Now this will basically copy and paste all of the animations that we will need to our motion matching project. In this case, I didn't make any change, I'm gonna say don't save and it will automatically select all the dependencies from this animation. So that means the character too. Now in this case, this skeleton is the same one as the one in the third person template but you know if we directly also migrate the character things will be easier for us so let's go ahead and click ok and then we need to navigate to our pride for motion matching in this case this is my pride so let's go and enter in the content folder and now that we are in the content folder we can just go and select this folder and now it will basically migrate all the assets from this pride to our motion matching pride and after a few seconds, there we go. We can now go back to our one over here. So now if we go to characters, we can see a new folder, which is heroes, which contains the locomotion for unarmed, which is really cool. All right, so now with those extra animations imported, it is time to begin to create the assets for motion matching. So the first one that we will need will be a post search schema. So let's go and select the content browser, just right click, go to the animation section, and now with this new plugins, we can see that we have another new section, which is motion matching. So now with this, we can create a post search schema. Now let's go ahead and select the SK mannequin, which is blue, which comes from the Lyra template, okay? And now let's go ahead and name this something as PSS underscore motion matching. All right, so let's open this up. So what does this asset do? Well, basically, it will um, set all the parameters that our animation database, which we'll create a bit later, will need for the decisions like angle, velocity, etc. Now, there's a very limited documentation in this, right? So we're going to be leaving everything by default, which will work just fine for our testings, okay? If in the future you want a more detailed tutorial on this, I can make one, so let me down uh, in the comments. All right, so now with that asset created, it is time to create another asset, which will be our post search database, which will basically link with this. And it will contain all of the animations that our motion matching database will have. So let's go ahead and right click, go to animation, motion matching, and create the post search database. Let's go ahead and select the PSS that we just created. And now let's go ahead and name this something as PSD underscore motion matching. And let's open this up. All right, so now in here, what we can do is drag in all of the animations that we will need for our uh, locomotion. Now, before doing that, let's make sure that all of our animations are using root motion. This is very important because motion matching will use root motion. So let's go to characters, heroes, mannequin, animations, locomotion, and aren't. Go with control A, select everything, right click, go to S actions, 
and select edit selection in property matrix. This will allow us to change some of the parameters of all the animations at once. So if we go ahead and press Ctrl A once again, we can go to root motion and to enable root motion. Right now it has this dash, which means that some of the animations have root motion enabled and some others not. So if we disable this, we can enable it back again and now all of them have it. And the same with force root lock, we go ahead and disable this and enable this, not all of them have it. Let's save. And now all of the animations will have root motion, which is essential. Now let's close this, go back to our database, press Ctrl space to open up the content browser, and let's drag in all of the animations that we will need. So in this case, this will be on characters, heroes, mannequins, uh, animations, locomotion, unarmed. And now let's go ahead and search for jog. In this case, let's begin by going forward. So FWD, jog forward, drag it here. Then for backward, BWD, this one here. Then we will basically contain the uh, going uh, left. So left, drag this one here. Then also going right, we'll get this one. Then we will also go ahead and get for the idle animation which will be this ready and then we also require some uh, start and stop so it will basically be even smoother so let's search for jog start and drag this one over here for backwards forwards left and right and then also for stop and we'll do exactly the same thing so from left to right over here there we go cool save and now if we go and select all of these animations, we can see them in action in all the directions, which is really, really cool. So now the only thing we need to do is apply this database to an animation blueprint, which is going to be very, very simple. It will only require literally two nodes. So let's go back to our content browser, right click, create an animation blueprint. If I know how to click correctly, there we go. Now let's go ahead and once again, select the SK mannequin, which is the blue one coming from heroes which is the one from Lyra, hit create, ABP underscore, and this will be just motion matching. Let's go ahead and open this up. And now what we can do is add the following two nodes. The first one will basically be motion matching itself. So search for motion matching and apply this node. Now this node will basically require a database, which is the one that we just created, which is PSD motion matching. So let's go ahead and select this. And now we can leave everything by default. And then the next node that we will need will be the post history. Okay. Now this post history will require a uh, trajectory. Now the trajectory is a component that now we need to add to our character blueprint. So let's go to our third person folder blueprints and open up third person character. In here, let's go and search for um, trajectory. And this will be character trajectory. With that said, we can now compile, save, and this component will basically get the direction of the player and gets its trajectory and all that information that our motion matching database and uh, everything will need. So now we need to pass it over here. So we need to get that information from this uh, blueprint. So we need to do this on the benchcraft. Now to save performance, I'm gonna go ahead and just add an initialize animation, which will occur at the beginning. So when the game starts, I will basically cast from the owner to the uh, third person character blueprint and i will save this in a variable okay so let's right click promote variable and name this something as third person character bp good with that now in the update right on every frame we will access this third person character and get the character trait tree component that we just basically added okay and basically the only thing we need to do is right click and promote this to a variable and that's it okay so in the update we will constantly be filling this up now the reason that i did this on the initialize right the casting is because casting uh, is pretty uh, performance intensive when we do it on the update uh, not really but if we do this for example in a multiplayer game with a lot of pawns and so on it will basically just reduce performance and there's no reason for this so let's have it on the up and the initialize and then on the update we can just get the save variable and use the information that we need cool so now in the name graph we can just right click on this trajectory input go to binding select the character trajectory trajectory and now we have it binded so it's basically using that one that we just assigned so now the only thing left to do is to go to the third person character select the mesh change it to our 
uh, queen from Lyra, which is really the same skeleton, so really you could use the other queen, okay, there's no problem with that. And then, of course, select the animation blueprint that we just created, which is ABP Motion Matching. With that said, now we can go and press play, and we will have a error. What is this? Well, that's because Lyra also migrated some footsteps. Now, the footsteps have missing references and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable this, disable this, and also if we select the first uh, error here, it will bring us to the section where we can disable this, compile, and that's it, we don't have any errors, okay? Go ahead and Ctrl Shift S, and everything saved. Let's go ahead and press play. And now, when I go ahead and move, you can see that we are actually going ahead and moving with mode matching, which is really cool with our stop, uh, start and stop animations and everything like that. Now, to basically represent motion matching in its, you know, peak um, happiness, <laughs> we can go ahead and change the direction movement of the player. So let's go to the character movement component, go down into the rotation settings, and let's go ahead and disable orient rotation to movement and enable the side rotation. This will basically move the player whenever it is looking, which allows us to have a straight movement where we can go left, right, backwards and forwards and that's it now we have motion matching working in our pride now one last thing to you know go ahead and kind of debug this motion matching is that if we go down here and go ahead and search for character trajectory and we have this a character trajectory debug we can now just put a space one and now we can basically preview this trajectory going ahead and happening there you go, so that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. We might have full access to the profile files through Patreon or YouTube members, join my Discord server, follow me on socials, and now just, with all said, bye bye.